Hey guys, welcome back to my video with Tony's Phone Collection. Today we're doing an unboxing of a phone wallet that a subscriber sent me. Um, he sent them to me for free and he also paid for shipping, so uh, very thankful for that. I do appreciate it. Um, I do plan on maybe getting a P.O. box maybe, so um, we'll see about that one of these days. These came from Germany, if I remember right. Let me take a look. So I'm pretty sure it was Germany. Um, I think he said they were untested, which isn't a big deal. I know he couldn't send batteries because, you know, uh, the uh, lithium being a problem on planes and stuff or boats, wherever they go. They don't know a lot about shipping. Cut this last one. I think he said there was 24 phones in here, something like that. Very well packaged as well. So uh, first off, I actually have one of these on track phone, but the SIM card is the wrong one. It's a Nokia 1100. Right there. This is black. I think the one I have is blue. So that's pretty sweet. There's that one. Here is a Sony Ericsson. The extremely weird back cover on here. They're getting very creative with these. This is a W580i. Okay, well maybe if it'll go back on. Oh, one of the tabs broke off. Yeah, there's this one though. I'm gonna just set it aside with this battery cover off. Here's a Nokia. This has got a metal back, it's very cold too. Uh, it's a model 6303CI. Um, it looks to be in decent shape as well. I said this is this piece of metal. I think this ring around here is also metal. Here is a BlackBerry, that's T-Mobile, the LCD is damaged, I can see right there. Um, I don't have one of these on T-Mobile yet, so we could probably fix it up. It is a BlackBerry Bold 9700. I have one of these on AT&T, I actually used it recently, I was messing around and I got my SIM card to work, so uh, this one is really fun to, to message on, looks like it's broken right here a little bit. Here's a HTC. Um, the only number I see up there is POLA 100, so maybe that's it. It doesn't have a back or a battery cover, or a battery, or battery cover. There's an SD card slot. Pretty interesting HTC phone. Here's a Nokia. I actually have one of these on Singular. I don't think mine has a front-facing camera though. This might be a tab bit different than the one I have on Singular actually. This is 6680. Here's another Samsung device. It is a... Actually this is the first Samsung phone. SGH J700. And this is on T-Mobile. I like the key file on this one's pretty cool. Here's a Vodafone. Um, doesn't have a brand on it. Let's see, maybe under here we can find something. Nothing. Oh, HTC down there in the corner. I uh, don't see much of a model number. Maybe this is the model number right here. There we go. Not too sure on that. Very thick phone, pretty hefty as well. Here's a Nokia. There we go. A Nokia Model 100. 
You see charging port up there. Pretty basic Nokia phone, plastic build. Here's another Nokia slider phone. This back cover is going to be a pain, I can tell. There we go. It is a Nokia 3500S. Uh, let's see, let's slide this back in. A uh, pretty decent shape, I would say. This is metal. This is metal. Here's a Samsung. Uh, it's the Samsung GT Dash S5 2200. Uh, it's got a resistive touchscreen, it looks like. Yeah, resistive touchscreen. There's a Samsung on T Mobile SGH C140. Pretty, uh, Interesting looking phone. I like the keypad on it. <sighs> um, pretty interesting keypad on it. Yeah, it's a textured piece. Looks like it might have been a camera there if like they make different models. I know they make cell phones here that don't have cameras on them. Here I have one of these, but the LCD is broken. I actually got it from Retrocons if I remember right. Uh, 6230. Um, so we'll probably have some parts for one of these. I can see LC looks good in this one. Looks to be in decent shape. Here's another Nokia with a cracked front lens. The LCD looks fine behind it. This is a Nokia 6610i. This looks to be in decent shape minus that crack. Here's the interesting Nokia. Let's see if I can get this one off. This is going to be a pain. The back covers they make on these Nokias are uh, interesting. This is a Nokia 3510i. I do have a couple extra Nokia batteries from it, right? LCD looks good. Here's a Nokia 5130. I have a couple of these as well, but um, these are always nice to have. This is the SIM card one too. I uh, only have one that's a SIM card version. Here's a Nokia on Vodafone. I do have some Vodafone Verizon SIM cards as well. I don't know if that would work in these or not, but a model is 6234. Back's a little sticky, nothing couldn't be cleaned up. I like the front piece of this, it's like a smooth plastic. Almost feels like metal. I think I'm pretty sure it's plastic. Here's a Samsung phone. A GT Dash uh, S5230. Here it is, resistive touchscreen as well. Maybe a good LCD, really can't tell, but looks pretty good. Here we've got a couple left now. Five left. Here's a Sony Ericsson K320i right there. Plastic battery cover. I think most Sony Ericsson phones are plastic. Uh, display looks good. I don't, I might have a battery I could test this with. I do need to buy some more Sony Ericsson batteries. I do have chargers for them, I just need batteries. Here's a Samsung. It is a model GTE 1200i. Pretty uh, small generic Samsung phones is pretty common, I'd imagine. Here's an LG, this is actually the first LG we have, I think. LG GS290. Uh, let's see, look at the protector over the camera, it looks like. Looks to be in good shape. Resistive touchscreen as well. 
I should have batteries for I think most of these maybe. There's gonna be some I already tell I don't have just by the way they look. But I'll get a couple batteries. I did get a battery in for the uh, Sanyo phone, which still isn't doing nothing. The 5300. I've got a new battery in and it still won't charge, so pretty sure there's a board issue on that one, but we'll figure it out. Um, this is the GT S5380. Back cover's a little broken right there. Looks like we're gonna have a little clips. Clip into, not a big deal. Resist, resistive touchscreen as well. And then we've got two left here. Here is a Samsung SGH C270. A little sticky right here as you can tell. And now it's all over my finger. Looks to be in decent shape. It's an interesting red. And I got one left here, it's stuck to the bubble wrap. They got one of these on AT&T. Except for mine doesn't have a front facing camera, I don't think. That's what it looks like. LG KB770. Um, got a little stylus up here, if I remember right. Oh, it's got an antenna. They might have an antenna, I can't remember, but I think there's something up there. So here it is. Resist, resistive touchscreen as well. The body needs to be cleaned up because it's all sticky, but it's not that hard to do. And that looks to be in good shape. So these are the phones that we got. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And thanks a lot for sending them to me. I will send you an email and uh, I do appreciate it. Have a good one.